hello we are back in skyrim and we are in solitude where i just dropped some uh, some stuff because i was heavy on loads uh, currently uh, let's see um i have something to spare we can carry with i've got a lot of gold i still got a lot of things to sell by the way but um i can't find in solitude many shops that actually will do business with me uh, only one of them and uh, she ran out of money quite soon. Um, I was doing all this selling off camera and then I stepped into M Castle Dower and jumped into a conversation. So let's quickly go back in with the camera on and let's see if the conversation either returns or continues. Apparently they were talking about that Ulfric was planning to attack... I'm telling you, oh. Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and... Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. It's Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Call it whatever you like, General. Might consider the joining up myself. The going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? I believe we've already met. I was at Helgen. Right. Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. I was set free. I could have gone anywhere, but I've came here to fight. No, I haven't. No. Hmm. I'm not fighting for the Empire. You. Are you lost? Okay, I was actually hoping to find the Jarl around here. To see if I guess you can buy a house in Whitehall. Oh, sorry, in uh, Solitude, where I am now, but um, it's not here. The Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, I'm not going there either. I think what the best we can do, if I can go over here, or what is this? Falkland. North Shriekwood Bastion, and then head straight over to the Falkorn, to the. Uh, Sepical, sep, sep, sepical, yes. To over there. And see if we can actually finish the entire mission with Mercer. Well, we, we, we got Mercer. Mercer's dead. But uh, we haven't uh, rescued, in parenthesis, rescued the, uh, the Thieves Guild completely. Or we haven't finished that mission. I believe the last time we met... Uh, Kanaya, we got her sword. I don't think I've really checked out that sword. Okay, at least it's daylight. Let's see. I am supposed to be going... Okay. Um, it looks like I need to go... That is... Hold on. That is west, southwest. But I believe that I heard... The music coming on, the battle music. No, there's just someone on the horse. Okay, I need to go west. I am detected, most likely by Esburn. And I think... If we just 
keep on the path over here, we will get where we are supposed to be going. Okay. I was hoping to find location on the map already, but... Well, no, we have to go straight, so we're gonna skip the road. Let's keep moving. Yes, we are. And head straight west. And I'm not quite sure when the mark is gonna show up on the compass. But for now, I'm keeping on straight west. What, what happens? Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't know quite sure what happened, but... Apparently there was someone or something attacked us. Probably a wolf or something, I don't know. In Oblivion there is a... Hold up. I see something moving. I was going to say in Oblivion there is a uh, quest where you can get a... pair of boots I believe that will make you friendly towards animals. That would stop those uh, wolf attacks. Skyrim probably there's a similar thing. Maybe you can make it yourself. I don't know, but would be useful because those wolf attacks are uh, very annoying. Oh, that's not a wolf. Hold up, that's not a wolf. That's not a wolf at all. Hold up, um, I'm using different, I just bought some myself some different, um, sorry, I got the wrong button. I bought myself some new um, arrows, uh, let's see, it was, I think it was bone, oh, bone arrows. I haven't got much of them, but let's, I want to give it a try. All right. Oh, crap. Where is he? Yeah, you're not the only one. I don't even know where he is. Oh, there he is. Bit of a pickle. I'm making a bit wrong. Okay. Okay. Okay, I could do with some uh, with some protection against him. Damn it, the tree is in my way. He's eating something. So is he. Okay. I'm nearly there. And that should be it. We didn't see it, but... Okay. What Delphine? Is what is it? Well, get out of my way, Delphine. Okay, so let's pick up the dragon soul. And I just got rid of all the dragon bones. And now I'll probably get another more, not a lot of those. But
Okay, I got my bone arrows back. Oof. There were 500 each. Dragon scales. And the gold. And I think I am once again over encumbered. Crap. Okay, I need to find a few things that are uh, weighing too much, and I think it's the dragon bones. Let's keep moving. Okay, indeed, let's keep moving. We were heading west, which is that away. Well, that was interesting. The first time I ever played Skyrim, I do not remember that we encountered so many dragons. But, um, well, we should of course, because uh, we need dragon souls to absorb in order to get our powers for the dragon shouts. Oops. I'm running right into a tree. I've done something with my uh, calibration of the controller. It's still not perfect. Uh, let's take a look at the map because I am heading the right way, but nothing is now on the on the on the radar on the radar. But I'm heading the right way, so I should be able to see something coming up on the radar soon. Okay, I, here it is, I just saw something coming up on the radar. Now how do I get here, because it's obviously, there are some mountains and rocks. I need to find a path let's between the mountains. Delphine, shut up with your let's keep moving. I am moving. Not quite sure if I'd be able to get there. <sighs> Still, the controller is way too fast for my liking. Okay, I've managed to climb the rocks, and I believe we are close. Let's take another look. I am getting very close to so we'll let's head on this way. Seems to be to Oh shut up. Okay, what's going on? Oh that's a goat. But there's something over there. And I'm not quite certain what it is. Just in case. Let's get our bow and arrow ready. Should have picked somebody else for your sake. What? Whoa! course once again I am too late okay what was I saying okay we were this way there was a big ant or a spider I do not know but anyway I think we have arrived at our location yep the twilight sepulchral we're being detected. I'm not quite sure by what or by whom. But I do know that we are going to go. What happened? What? Lead on to Skyhaven Temple. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we're going in. We are going in. I'm not quite sure what we're going to find over here. It's 
Speak to the Nightingale Sentinel. Oh, my follower cannot follow me. Okay. If you need to speak to someone, then I believe that this is not... There will not be any enemies. Oh, hello. I think we do not need to fear this over here. I think. Because he is a nightingale. Or was a nightingale. I don't recognize you. But I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? I'd ask the same question of you. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. The last? What about the rest of you? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. So how are you to blame? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Ah. Wait a moment. You're Gallus! I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? I have the key. The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Dad. Then it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. I did this to honor the guild. You've done the guild a great deal, and although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. Sacrifice? My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlia, help me. Carlia? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Then take the key and right all the wrongs. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key. But I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. How can a spirit die? The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Evermere, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Then I'll have to proceed alone. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening. And I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Evermere and replacing the key. And can't you just take the key? Whatever is affecting the Nightingale Sentinels is starting to affect me too. As I get closer to the Evermere, I begin to feel myself slipping away. Even right this moment, I feel strange when I don't think I should be feeling anything at all. So what will I face in the Pilgrim's Path? I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last... Yeah, of course you can't help me. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Okay. Oh, it's optional. And what's wrong with the other sentinels? With the Ebonmere closed, and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglow, I fear they've undergone a drastic change. They're shadows of their former selves. They no longer remember their true purpose or their original identities. So why aren't you like them? My spirit didn't manifest itself in the sepulchre immediately. So fortunately I wasn't present when the Ebonmere was sealed. However, 
Ever since that day, I've felt my power waning, slowly draining away. Okay, last question. How does the Ebermere affect all of us? The Ebermere is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. Luck is meaningless. What we do involves skill. Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But nocturnal. She influences our luck. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. So how is that changing the ways things are? Think about the guild. About the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. So, with the Ebermere closed, our luck is run dry? Precisely. There are a few who still call Nocturnal Lady Luck, and for good reason. Okay. Good luck, Nightingale. Oh, that's good luck. Well, there wasn't any luck, remember? Okay, apparently I should be going up the stairs this way. And I have a feeling I might encounter other former Nightingales who are now probably not so favorable of me. So, another dungeon crawl. Let's see where this leads us. I have no clue. I can't remember this quest. I have no clue who or what we can encounter over here. But we get a door. And whatever is behind the door. Is there? A, no, I thought it was a pathway over there. Whatever is behind the door is going to be what we're going to face. Oh, okay. I thought it was a loading screen. Okay, this seems to be an area where we can find some enemies. Let's suggest it's I sense a presence. No, you don't. Not anymore. Okay, well that was easy. Let's see. Is there anything that spirit now holds, like keys or something? An elven arrow. Oh, that's so these are also very good. Okay, well at least that's good. I fear I should have checked the rest of the area, but... Wait until the uh, arrows are through. Okay. That did really, that really didn't do much. Bone arrows and elven arrows. Another door. Yeah, I have a distinct feeling that we just missed a few things in the main area where we just were in the beginning. Oh. Okay. This looks like we're outside, but this is in fact... 
Oh, hello, what's this? This is a body. Is this the adventurer who's... Okay. Oh! Oh! That's... Oh! Oh! This leads outside. Okay. This is where I died last time. Something on the on the ground. What happened? Okay, is it when I go into the light? Is that possible? Yep, it happens when I go into the light. Okay. Okay. So I can quickly go in, check him out. Oops. Check him out quickly. And get out. Okay. Hmm. There's another one over there. Let me first get up here. Oh, there's a trap. Okay. Let's wait until the arrows are gone. Okay. There's nothing over here. But there's another tripwire over there. Which probably oh, it's going to send arrows over there. Okay, I need to stay out of the light. There was another body over here, wasn't there? But these are just bandits who carry nothing of importance, as far as I can tell. Okay, let's go down and let's see if we can stay out of the light as much as possible. And otherwise, we're just going to have to run. Okay. Hmm. We need to get up there, that's for certain. Now how do we get there? Maybe there's a stairs on the other side of this building. Yep, there is. And there's a tripwire. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. Let's wait until the arrows are gone. Okay, good. We need to go up here as well. Ah, and not where do we need to go? I believe over there. What we can do is simply like this and avoid the tripwire altogether. And now stay in the shadows and then run. Well, not so much run. Huh. Did we miss anything? That seemed obviously simple. Okay. <laughs> that seemed overly simple. Just stay out of the sunlight. Maybe this quest is this uh, puzzle is coming back to us. Okay, there are going to be traps here and there. 
But I don't think these skeletons are coming back to life. We got a chest over here, which has gold and lockpicks. That's nice. Okay, that looks like Lady Nocturnal. Are we already here? No enemies? Nothing? There is a body on the ground near the statue. It's a bandit. He doesn't have anything. Okay. I'm not sure if we should actually take these. Let's see what happens when we do. Oh, we took the entire wooden plate. That was not the intention. Apparently she doesn't mind me taking the stuff. But... Is the statue coming alive or something? Or is there something... Oh, maybe there's a door behind it. Is there? I don't know. Is this a door? No, it's not. Is there a secret, secret passageway or something which I've missed? No. There isn't a keyhole either where I should use that particular key. If that is what I should be doing. Huh. Okay. Let's get back a little bit. Let's see. Maybe I missed something. I came from over there. Through that door. No, I didn't miss anything. Came over here, then saw that statue. And then stole all the stuff. Sorry I did that, but... It looks like a door behind it. Okay, I must have missed something. Why would the statue be here? Yes, I'm doing a butt check. Um... Because this looks like a doorway to me. Maybe because I'm not... No, hold up. I am in full Nightingale armor. I'm not interacting with the statue. I can't interact with the statue. That's weird. I must have missed something. Ah! I did. I missed a chain. Oh, but nothing happened. But there's another chain over there. Ah, yes. It was a door. Quiet. It's very quiet. No more traps. Oh. <laughs> what was I saying? No more traps. Well, we can actually bypass that by going. 
using our shout. Yeah, and... Hello, what's that? It's probably a trap also as well. No, hold on, this is some sort of a... Huh, maybe you should put something in there. Anyway, let's open this door. Yeah, I had a distinct feeling that we might see something. Okay. Let's head on. Another door. And a passageway. Let's try the passageway first. Where is this heading, like leading to? So there were bandits here. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Well, we got a enemy. Oh, there are more of them. Okay, we gotta use our sword. Ah, that's a good question. Who tries to fool the dead? Okay. Okay, let's stay out of the line of sight because there's someone shooting bow and arrows over there. Let's see, uh, let's use the... We meet again? Oh, crap. Crap. Heading this way. Okay. Were there any more? I believe there was any. Uh, was another one. Okay. Let's be gentle. I thought there were several more. Not just those two. But I don't see any more. Okay, let's continue on then. 
easy. This is a dead end. I can, of course, drop down, but I have a feeling that these are just stairs or something, or not, are they not? Okay. And now on the table. Got some books over here, but none of them seem to be skill books. This might be a skill book. Yep, that increases my sneak. Always useful. And what do we have here? Some gold. I don't want a goblet. Gold's always useful. There's a bag of stuff over there. And this is also one piece of gold. And we have a coin purse with 19 gold. Anything else? There's a bottle up there. Another weak poison. You can use it, of course, to dip in your arrows or any other things. What have we here? Those are not uh, ruby. Okay, I was going to say that is not a skill book. And. Another poison, poison, potion, potion, not poison, potion. And oh, there's nobody here I can. This is just wine. And I'm out of more wine and all more wine. I don't need wine. There's another book over there on the table. What is that? Lock picking. Yeah, I thought so. But I also see over here a dwarven bow. And I'm now carrying too much. Great. Let's see. Uh, bows. So Draven bow. I can drop that one. It's, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's... Oh, it's a quest item. Okay, dwarven bow. Which is what I'm, what I'm using now. A dwarkish bow of ice. Yeah, Nightingale Bow, and the Dwarven Bow is 28, we can sell it, but, um, we can eat of course the apple pie, but, and drink some, and eat some, and eat some, and eat some, and eat some. But we're still carrying too much. Okay, so what is it that is so heavy that we can actually... Uh, I'm sorry, it, it's, it's the dragon bones. Oh, I do not need, no, I need to drop them. Okay. Let's get back up the stairs. Oh, and let's get back into crouch mode. There's a cage, oh, cave, cage over here. What would the nightingales be doing with a cage? Oh, the platform. Can we reach that platform? Do we need to? We can reach the platform over there. And we took care of that one. Okay, so we need to go back to where we saw that door. Because we saw a door over there. The inner sanctum. Ah, that's a 
loading level. Okay. There's probably some traps around here because I don't see anything attacking us. Although I don't see any trap on the floor as well. Okay, another set of doors. Leading to where exactly? Another stairs going down. Is this it? Holy. Uh, huh. If I go down there, I'm never going up. get up. Okay, did I miss something again? These are just pots and pans. Hmm. Oh. Is there a button? No. Okay. Let's get back to that big hole in the wall. It obviously does something. You know what? I'm going to save over here and see what happens when I step down. Okay, I'm down on the ground. Now what? Okay, he has a lockpick, a dagger and a message. Which, of course, I now need to read. Ah, uh, let's see now. I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all those ridiculous riddles just to end up here. After memorized the distant clues he collected from the liftless, I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. Oh dear, I must have missed... Some... Oh! 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 Hold up! Oh! Because I had the key, of course. Okay, replace the skeleton key. Oh, hello! What do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represents nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Evanmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, 
and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, my dear. See you in the King's stage this time, won't you? Okay. She says something about drinking. Was that a, was it metaphorically, or am I supposed to drink from this, or if that is actually something to drink, or what's this platform? Uh, oh, there are all sorts of. This is not a door. Uh. Miss? Hello, Miss? Oh! It said to speak to Kalaya. I didn't know you were here. Hello! I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Pleased? She sounded indifferent. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful. Outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. And I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. So what's this about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The crescent moon represents the agent of stealth, the half moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the full moon for the agent of strife. And why can't I be all free? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. So, what now? Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. And you? The guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. The beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. Okay, um, let's talk about Agent of Stealth. What's the Agent this? of Stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. Subterfuge. The Agent of Subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him by weaving the darkness to their will. This agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. And the Agent of Strife? The Agent of Strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. Oh, well, that seems interesting. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. Okay. So which is which? Shadow Cloak of Nocturnal. Carlyle. Oh. Gallus. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. I I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this nightingale. Your fears would have come true. She honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye. Oh, he's busy. Yes, Nightingale. What is it? 
Which one was it? I can't see which one I need to stand on. Oh, he must made a fool there. But I'm not quite sure which, what, what the, which one was what. Okay. Um. Huh. Yeah, but hmm, magic. Let's see. Spells learned. No. Crafting crime. No, I don't know. But um. Yes, Nightingale. What is it? How will I know if I'm needed here? Oh, where did Gallus go? Okay. Gallus's oath has been paid. His actions have satisfied the terms. Now his spirit becomes one with the Everglow, the realm of perpetual twilight and the cradle of shadow. So, he's gone. No, not gone. He's become one with the shadows. This is the greatest honor a nightingale can possibly achieve. In death, he's become a part of that which we use to live. And they're a part of the darkness around us. Absolutely. When we say, walk with the shadows, we are asking those nightingales who have passed on to protect us. It's believed that they are literally what guides our uncanny luck by placing their hands in ours. That's why the Ebonmere needed to be reopened. Without it, there's no way Nocturnal was able to allow them through. So how will I know when I'm needed here? If this place is in danger ever again, the shadows will call. Should the need arise, a portal connects the Sepulchre and Nightingale Hall. Use it whenever you wish. And where will you be from now on? I've decided to make my home at Nightingale Hall. Since it's your home as well, I hope to see you and Brynjolf there. Of course, I may visit some of Skyrim cities to acquire things from time to time. Can't afford to get rusty now, can we? Farewell. Eyes open. And walk and with shadows. Yes. How do I get out of here? By using... How do I get out of here now? Um, where was that city? Was it Morful? No. It wasn't Solitude, wasn't it? Where Where was that? Where was the uh, Feast Guild? Tundra Homes of White? No, it was not White One either. What was it? Riverwood? No. Windhelm? No. Gee, I don't remember where it was. Oops, this is Dawnstar, Winterhold. Crap. I forgot where it was. Um, let's go to a large city so I can still sell some things if I can actually do a fast travel from over there to over here let's go to Winterhold no I cannot fast travel so how do I get out there must be a door or something oh here we are now it's a portal okay where am I now? Is this the... Uh... Good question. Where am I now? Toilet typical. Okay. Well, as I said, I was on my way to... Oh, let's go to White Run. I cannot fast travel. I need to get out of here, I suppose. Oh, oh yeah, that's, I was, no, this is not the way, is it? It is, it is, it is, it is. It is. Let's go to White Run, And, you know, I think what we're going to do next time is, um, 
We're gonna finally go to a Skyhaven temple. After we sold a few things. Not Dawnstar, uh, not Winterhold, what was it? Lala Lar City, if you please, so I can actually sell a few things. Solitude is not so big. White run. Yes. And there we're going to try to sell a few things. Get myself a little bit lighter. Maybe I can actually buy a house and finally dump a few things. Which I do not need at the moment. Let's see if I get there without any uh, problems. And after I've uh, taken care of all that business, then uh, I think we're going to finally go to Skyhaven Temple and hopefully we'll not hear her talking again about that quest. So, join us next time if you will. I'm going to do some shopping. And after that, we are going to Whitehaven Temple and uh, continue on the main quest. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.